my dear people of God, today we are presented to we are presented to a God who restores us, a God of restoration. The first reading, Saint Paul advises Timothy of returning to God, turning back to God. Paul recounted his own life when he persecuted the Christians. So the advice given to Timothy today was that we were once sinners. I was once a sinner, but it was by the grace of God that I am now his apostle. That is why we have this song which says, Once I was a sinner, saved by grace. Once I was a sinner, saved by grace. My sins have gone far away. Jesus has taken my very sins away. Once I was a sinner. Saved by grace, once I was a sinner, saved by grace. My dear people of God, we have all sinned before, and we continue to sin, but it's just by the grace of God that he continues to call, to call us. He continues to call us because he loves us. So there is nobody in this world who can say, I have never sinned before. So the advice given to Timothy was that we have all been foolish before. We have all sinned before. We have all gone other way before. But it is by the grace of God that we are alive. So let us turn to the Lord. So advise the people to turn to the Lord. Advise the church to turn to the Lord. And this is what I present to you today. Jesus is the one who restores us. When we come to him, we will forgive all of our sins. The past will be gone. The new day will come. And this is the new day. That Jesus is calling us. The same aspect is reflected in the gospel reading of today. We are told that Jesus went to Jerusalem and ten lepers met him. They cried out. They mentioned two titles of Jesus. They said, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. And Jesus heard them. Jesus came to their aid and he says, go and show yourselves to the priests. The first lesson we can learn from this is that Jesus, who restores us, sends us to the priests to go and show ourselves to them. And the lesson is that these lepers were all not Jews. Some of them were Gentiles. That was why we were told that one of them, a Gentile, a Samaritan, came to thank Jesus. So even in sickness, there was no discrimination. Both Jews and Gentiles can be lepers. That is why I can say that both Christians and non-Christians can be sinners in the presence of the Lord. But one thing Jesus told them was, go and show yourselves to the priests. My dear people of God, the second lesson is to go and show ourselves to the priests because in the house of God there's no discrimination. Jesus did not discriminate between the Gentiles and the Jews. That you are Jews, go and see your priests. You are Gentiles, go and see your priests. He said, all of them, go and show yourself to the priests. And in that, they said, they all cried out. Both Jews and Gentiles cried out. So my dear people of God, there should be no division among ourselves. Jesus never discriminated. He told all of them, go and show yourselves to the priest. The second lesson is that when we sin, we must go to the priest for confession. Some of us, when we, 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 we go to confession, we can't even remember the last time we went for confession. Have you been showing yourself to the priest? Because Jesus told them specifically that go and show yourselves to the priest. You are lepers. For us, we are sinners. Leprosy in those days, today is our sins. Go and show yourselves to the priest. And they said as they made their attempt to see even the priest, before they could even get there, their sins were forgiven. They were cured. So even as we come for confession, the Lord forgives us our sins. That is the meaning of go and show yourself to the priest. And they were cured on the way. So in thanking God, he said one of them 
came to Jesus to thank him. What is this that we can learn from Jesus? Jesus saying that we should show appreciation to whatever he has done unto us. Whatever Jesus has done unto us, we must give appreciation. But this man came back to thank him. That is why after confession, we are told to have penance. Penance is an act of feeling sorry for your sins and atoning for it or for them. This message is for us. Jesus restores. If you look at the reading, they said nine of them did not come back. They were healed. The last person who came was healed and was restored. He was restored by Jesus. Jesus told him, go your way, your faith has saved you. The nine could not receive that blessing. That is why we must come back to Jesus wherever we find ourselves. Because we can be healed but not be restored. But Jesus heals and restores. So once he heals and restores, we must come to him. We pray that in this mass, the Lord himself should so forgive us our sins because we have done other things. We have gone other ways before. We have been foolish before. As we come to him, he should forgive us our sins. He should cleanse us from our sins. Just as the lepers were cleansed. And he should also restore us. Our former state of life, he should restore us again to that state. May the Lord bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen.